This is the Game Vice Flex, and I can say without a doubt that this is the best game controller I've ever used with an iPhone. Yeah, it's as simple as that. This is the most compatible, the most comfortable, and just the best feeling portable gaming controller for iPhone, and you just can't beat it. So in this video, I wanna tell you the five reasons why it's the best. And just as a general overview, this is an Xbox style controller, and it's got a lightning port on the bottom here for, well, obviously for connecting an iPhone. There's no batteries or wireless connection needed. It just connects directly to the iPhone so you have zero lag, zero latency. This controller comes with all of the standard buttons that you would expect for gaming, along with a few others for opening the companion app or a menu or taking screenshots or going to Apple Game Center for some reason. On the bottom, you have a pass-through lightning port, and this is for charging the iPhone while you're playing a game, but you can't do anything else with this lightning port. You can't connect any other accessories. On the left side, you have this 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, so you can connect wired headphones if that's what you prefer. And then in general, there's just a little plate on the back and this controller expands, and we'll get to that in just a moment. I spent the last few months playing with other leading mobile iPhone gaming controllers, and for a number of reasons, I found that they just weren't that great to use, either because the buttons didn't feel good or the grip was uncomfortable, or more importantly, they were a pain to use if you had a case on your iPhone. So the first reason to get the Game Vice Flex is that it actually works with most cases. The Game Vice Flex actually comes with 16 different adapters for use with any iPhone and most cases out there. So if you're rocking a naked iPhone or a slim to medium sized case, you'll actually be able to connect to the Flex controller without needing to add or remove anything each time you play. You attach one adapter to each side depending on your iPhone and the case that you're using, and then you just connect the iPhone by first putting it in the lightning connector and then pulling the side out and just wrapping this thing right around your iPhone. And now your iPhone is secure in the controller without needing to actually remove the case. This really is a genius way to make this controller work with just about any case out there. And there are two ways to find out which adapters you will need to use with the Flex controller. You can either use the QR code in the box, which will take you to a website, and this walks you through selecting your phone and case if you know what case you have. When done, this will give you the right and left adapter pair that's the right size for your device. Alternatively, GameVice also includes a measuring device that tells you which size to use. With the case on your iPhone, you just start with the smallest gap size on the measurement, and if it doesn't fit, keep going until the selector fits comfortably over the edge of your phone. Then, select your pieces, click them into place, and bam, you are ready to game. It really does fit most cases. Here's an iPhone 11 with a Moment case, a 13 Pro with an ESR clear case, here's a naked iPhone XR, and an iPhone 13 Pro in a bumper case by Rhino Shield. But there is a limit, and you're not gonna be able to fit every single case, like this multi-piece case on this iPhone 11 Pro. It's just too thick to actually connect to the lightning port down there, even with no adapters installed. Next, the controller is built to be collapsed when not in use for traveling or storage. So when you're done using the Flex for gaming, just go ahead and remove the iPhone and push the two pieces together until they align, like somewhat so. There you go. And then on the back side, you just kinda clip this back plate back in there. So now you are collapsed and ready for storage or for tossing in a bag for traveling or a backpack to go to a coffee shop and game or whatever you want. I usually keep mine close by on the corner of a desk for, you know, breaks during work. To expand this controller, there are two release latches on the back of the device. So press each one and it will release that back plate. Then you can pull the controller apart, insert your iPhone and get to gaming. Now compared to other leading iPhone controllers and even this adapter for the Xbox controller, this is the most compact solution I've seen. Now, the third reason that this controller is great is because it actually has the biggest, most comfortable grips compared to other iPhone-specific gaming controllers. Now, I don't even have large hands, but even I need a controller or a mouse with some curves. And although the Flex is nowhere near an Xbox controller in size, I have found the grip to be comfortable enough for about an hour or so of gaming at a time. Now, this is not as comfortable as an Xbox controller. Maybe part of that is because you're actually holding the weight of the iPhone with the controller compared to an Xbox, but I definitely get hand fatigue way easier on the other iPhone controllers. Comfort is and should be super important for a device that you plan to use frequently. Now, for comparison, this setup with an iPhone 14 Pro Max is a bit wider than a regular Nintendo Switch, 
whereas the Backbone 1 and Razer Kishi V2 are about the same size as a Switch. I haven't experienced any discomfort with using such a wide gaming setup, but I just wanted to point that out. Now, the fourth reason that the Flex is great is that the buttons feel exceptional. Like, I found the Backbone 1 buttons to be a little mushy, and the Kishi V2 has weird buttons near the triggers that get in the way. And the analog sticks on both of those devices have very little travel, maybe even less than the Nintendo Switch. But the Flex seems to have nailed it on all fronts. The action buttons and the shoulder buttons just feel like they should with the right amount of travel when you're trying to just focus on the game. The triggers on the Flex are not shallow and have a good range of motion, but the analog sticks are the cream of the crop. Like really, these sticks feel oh so close to the analog sticks on the Xbox controller with a wide range of motion, the right amount of resistance, and I swear identical force needed to press down on them for L3 and R3 buttons. If it weren't for the just ever so slightly smaller thumb pads, I would actually believe that these are the same analog sticks as on the Xbox controller. And when you're playing a game like Call of Duty, all of the buttons are extremely important. And if they don't feel good, you're not going to play good or well or whatever. Now, I do wish that the analog sticks were actually angled a bit further from the action buttons or the D-pad like they are on an Xbox controller. With the Xbox controller, you just kind of swing your thumbs easily from the sticks to the buttons and it's just the right angle. On all of these portable controllers, the buttons are way more vertically aligned, which makes it feel like you have to do more thumb gymnastics when switching back and forth between the buttons. However, the placement of the sticks on the Flex is more aligned to the Xbox controller and it's definitely better than say the Backbone 1 or the Razer Kishi V2, but the V2 is definitely more vertically aligned compared to the others and much more like the Nintendo Switch, so not my favorite. And the fifth reason that the Game Vice Flex controller is the best is the price. When compared to other options for iPhone game controllers, you get a much better deal with this one. Both the Razer Kishi V2 and the Backbone 1 sell for $100, and I promise you that this Flex controller is at least 50% better in almost every way. The grip and feel, the buttons, the analog sticks, case compatibility, included adapters and collapsibility, all of it is worth way more than the other controllers. So the fact that the Flex is just $10 more is a big no-brainer. This GameVice Flex just went up for sale the other day, and I'll have a link below for you to find it. This video was not sponsored in any way. I bought this controller myself and wow, I am super impressed. Having the right controller really makes a difference in what it feels like to game on a mobile device. And of course, this iPhone is a fantastic mobile gaming device. So for $110, this is simply the best gaming controller you can get for an iPhone. It is perfect for yourself, for travel, as a gift for your kids, whatever. I highly recommend this controller. What do you guys think? Does the GameVice Flex look like it's worth the investment for you? Let me know below. If you've been holding off on which case to buy for your brand new iPhone 14 or 14 Pro, I made a comparison between the Apple Silicon case and the Apple Leather case like I have on here, and you can check that out right over there. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it, hit subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time.